So once we find ourselves opening up to a new perspective or achieving some sort of health or spirituality goal, one of the most common traps in real energy drains is what I call the Messiah complex. And this is something that people can get stuck in for you know weeks, months, years, or even much, much longer, and never really break out of it. So what I mean by that is essentially we have an experience, we achieve something, and we think to ourselves, wow, I've seen the way, or I've experienced the light, and everyone else needs to be saved and follow suit. And this really use, usually leads to going out and sort of preaching the gospel and trying to save or convert other people. Now in this instance, in this example, the gospel could be Christianity, could be meditation, could be raw foodism, could be veganism, could be vegetarianism, could be organic foods, could be the paleo diet, it could be positive thinking, could be yoga, and on and on and on, as there's plenty of other examples. So really doing this, embodying this, and buying into this leads to a few false programs. The first being, oh, if this person would just only listen, then they would just maybe understand and you know, then they would be saved too. Or second, oh, if man, if everyone did this, or if everyone ate this way, or everyone believed this way, then the world would be fine and all of our problems would be solved. Or if this were just on the front page of the newspaper and everyone saw it, everything would be fine and everything would be better and all of our problems would go away and I would be happy and they would be happy and we'd have this grand utopian golden age. But in reality, <clears throat> each of these things represent our experience, our will, in our vision, in our vision alone, not someone else's. And by buying into these false programs, we really ignore the major tenet that just because, just as we have the right to do and choose what feels best for us, so does everyone else. Meaning we might choose one thing that's right for us and what we want to do, but just because we think it's better, we think it's the best, or we think it's the right thing to do, doesn't mean that other people have to see the same thing because they might have an entirely different idea for what's good or right or feels right for them. And really ignoring this idea and ignoring this basic tenet disregards our intrinsic rights and oversteps our boundaries, which is very often felt as encroachment and, and really met with discomfort and resistance by other people. Now, if you've ever attempted to some, some one of these sort of programs or really try to engage in a conversation or interaction like that with someone, you know it's usually meant like that. So at this point, we might be wondering, well, well what am I supposed to do? You know, I've, I, I do see that this thing has improved my life and made my life better, but I see other people are having problems. And, you know, I know that this would help them, but, you know, I try to tell them they don't want to hear it or they don't want to listen or they're not open or they're closed-minded or whatever. So what should I do? So... I'm not suggesting apathy or lethargy or laziness or you know just throwing in the towel and turning your back on the world. No, what I'm suggesting is that we each follow our own unique path and allow others to do the same. And if our paths intersect, then great. And if they don't, then that's great too. Because if we have the lock for the key, then we can open it. And if the door is open, we can walk through it. If not, then we just need to move on to the next one and just keep moving forward. So then what we need to do is have trust and take responsibility for the things that we can take responsibility for, or in other words, tend to our own garden and just allow others to do the same. Not is this inherently more effective, more productive, and feel better, but it also just gives us more energy because we're not investing all this mental energy and emotion and tension and all these other things. And really at a deeper level, stepping outside of our own boundaries and encroaching into the boundaries of others. Because again, we each have our own intrinsic space, which should be respected and should be you know, acknowledged. And also we should realize that we each have the intrinsic right to choose and do what feels right and feels best for us. So hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.